Hello everybody. You all must have seen tiny squirrels running around in the gardens all around you. They are very cute and quite harmless. Now, if you would look carefully, you will see that Indian squirrels have white stripes with a dark brown fur on their backs. Do you know there is a beautiful story behind how the Indian squirrel got these white stripes? Now let's travel back to Treta Yug, which was a long long time ago when Devi Sita, Lord Ram's beloved wife, had been abducted by the evil king Ravan and imprisoned in the Ashok Vatika grove of his capital Lanka. When Lord Ram got to know this, he decided to attack Lanka with his Vanar Sena to rescue her. In order to do that, he had to create a way for his huge army of Vanars to approach Lanka for an attack. So he decided to build a long setu or bridge to connect India to Lanka with the help of all the Vanars. Hence, all the Vanas began collecting big, big stones and rocks from all around the kingdom to build the long bridge. At that time, there was a little squirrel who worshipped Lord Ram and he wanted to help too to show his devotion towards Lord Ram. So while the bridge was being constructed, the squirrel would roll in the sand, then pick up a pebble and scurry to the end of the bridge to dust the sand and lay the pebble. The squirrel was very tiny, so he could only carry tiny pebbles as compared to big rocks being carried by the rest. But in spite of that, the squirrel continued this process with full devotion. When the Vanars saw the squirrel laying pebbles, they mocked him by making fun of his size and asked him to keep away. Ha ha ha! Do you really believe a creature as tiny as you would be of any help? Stay away! You might get smashed under these rocks, said one of the Vanaras. The squirrel was bummed. He was deeply hurt and began crying. Lord Ram, who observed the little squirrel at work, was extremely pleased with his immense dedication. He picked up the sad squirrel and said to him, You are so tiny, yet you did a great job today. Then he gently stroked the squirrel's back with his fingers to make him feel better. The legend says that as Lord Ram caressed the back of the squirrel, his finger strokes left their marks as white stripes forever on the back of a squirrel as Lord Ram's blessings. That is why the Indian squirrel is also called the three-striped palm squirrel. Some Indian scriptures depict the Indian squirrels as sacred animals that are not to be harmed. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful story. If you liked my story, then don't forget to click the subscribe button. Goodbye.